YouTubers. YouTubers and create is back again with a new video. In this video, I will show you about pixel posit in After Effects. Uh, it could uh, affect the text writing and all, as you see in the previous. So, after uh, first like, share, subscribe, comment, and press the bell icon. Yeah. So here's the file about the pixel poly and here's the tone and all this I have been added so you can see it's all about this so we will just make a new composition and we will start working on it so you can name as the you can name as, as you need just I will name uh, pixel poly uh, please and you can uh, keep as you like uh, pixel ratio and same rate time resolution it give uh, about um, 5 seconds because it's not needed that much so the 5, five second time when is made so first of all you have to just take you know, I have been taking all this so I will just take one new text layer Keep as 10 
and you have the oxygen how the pollen and the texture poly or pollen and or texture poly or square or just texture square so we will keep texture poly now. so in the uh, in this you can enable the depth shot or you can from this top start line you can uh, tell it from where to from which second from or which minute should it start so i will give as the when uh, 40 millisecond so after 40 millisecond you, you can see at the time see after 40 seconds uh, 40 millisecond 10 millisecond it applies to get distorted from the point and if you need it so just go to just make another composition just make it as good and just make take a new solid layer and give it the same original composition and on this collector uh, layer and you uh, take the rectangle tool and marks upon it so it will create a mask on it so just keep as small as you can and take the move key, move selection, selection tool, and keep uh, and open the mask layer, mask one. So set the mask part. So on the first layer, it should be up. So take the click and uh, click shift. So it will go in straight line. So after uh, about 40, 10 seconds, uh, 10 milliseconds. Okay, no. so see here. Uh, you can see the time after 10 milliseconds just add it and take it to the down just click open it and take click here first you should click and click uh, uh, shift so it will take it a uh, straight line and leave it after this after that you can see it I will unselect all and you will see see white line. Yep. Yep. So after that, take it as the fit. So just make as the pixel expansion, keep it as the two and Ask whether or if you need it, you can add opposite capacity or just uh, apply the motion motion blur on keep uh, on it from the track line and keep up on on the uh, layer. So see the effect. I will unselect it. See, selection has been gone long, so I will just make it. Selection has been added it so we will delete it and we will take to certain seconds and just on this first add click add time and second keyframe then after 10 millisecond add second milli add second so take it shift it and click shift so it will come in the straight line let's see now the layer has been just gone from up to down see, see the motion blur effect on it if you want more easing ease out so click on uh, click the selector to keep it and click the uh, uh, six uh, and click f9 so it will easing after that come to your uh, your uh, composition original composition just take it and just click uh, take the cut preset to your screen so after that see the text cut layer is been uh, taking its position so uh, yeah yeah so just make sure that you apply it properly according to your text and all so see see yeah 
rotation vector rotation click uh, select on this layer cut and click R for only rotation so just adjust it according to it according to the so click on the layer and just drag it somewhere you should get it or not yeah so just click ok after that you will see the effect after being sprayed out and all just click on it and go to effect, effect control panel and keep, click on your uh, speed dimension number uh, and all just then after that if you want to add sound in the all composition just go to your effects and go to animate, uh, animation preset your sound effects are there I will uh, take uh, first one only. You can take any one of this. So take this and add to your layer. After that, you will hear the sound. Just click zero for rendering setup. I will take the frame to two seconds. Yeah. Click zero for rendering setup. Yeah, you can hear it. Yeah, the second uh, this frame is only two seconds, so it will make only small less noise. See, you have to uh, when you have to listen the sound, you have to press zero. You can hear the sound, and it will feel more uh, realistic and realistic if you go cinema direct. If you want, you can. So just take a background if you need it and add it to the as per your backs and uh, surroundings so it will be added so click on zero and as you know the uh, resetting preset uh, workspace and add into your render setup just click on the add the composition and just click on the render queue and control and shop shortcut and it will uh, take to your uh, rendering setup queue uh, uh, page Panel. So just click on output model, just click on this arrow and take H1264. It will take as it, uh, in, it will render in uh, MP4 format and just click on the MP4 format uh, render so it will render for you and it will uh, output your output you in the in your selected selected mm, uh, folder. So that's all for today. Thank you friends. Like, subscribe, share and press the bell icon for more updates and um, and enjoy your day. Spend your day however you like.